This is Steven from Three Souls Paranormal. I'm here at Forest Grove Cemetery in Robinson Township, Pennsylvania. Just doing a little vlog session. Vlogging session. Just walking around in the cemetery. Early in the morning. This is a pretty old cemetery here, Western Pennsylvania. I didn't do any research on the pro on a cemetery, but I figured out and share this with you anyway. Doesn't look like they're taking very good care of it. Grass is high. Like I said, I got my I got my K2 meter with me, so I will definitely be doing a K2 session in the cemetery. A lot of old headstones. This ain't a very big cemetery by any stretch of the means. It's actually chilly out this morning. Feels good though. This you and McCown. Him and his wife, they both passed away in the 1890s. I want to go back and look at the history of this cemetery. See if there's anybody we all know from around the area from years ago. See if anybody in here from there is buried in here. Wow, here's an old, old headstone right here. Wow.
William Ferry. I mean, wonder if that's the Ferry Street in Coriopolis is named after this person. Wonder. It's a possibility. Like I said, this cemetery is very not really not big at all. Pardon the noise from all these trucks. It's kind of a busy road that connects Robinson Township, Pennsylvania to Coriopolis. It's called Forest Grove Road, so there's gonna be you're gonna hear a lot of car noise, truck noise. School buses. John Gibson and Hannah, his wife. I guess they must have been a Pretty important people. They, they're um, the plots marked. I will feel completely terrible if this is a baby that's in here, little. The little markers. That's just awful. It's such a shame. This marker just has E on it, or three. This is really old hair. He's a soldier from 1861 to 1865. I wonder if that's, I think that's kind of before the Civil War, right? Or it could be the Civil War. I gotta go back and check the dates on when the wars were happening. There's headstones kicked over, probably from vandals, or it could just be old and just fell over. I'm going to do a K2 session here in the Gibson's plot see if we get any readings see lights are on <laughs> Gibson family you stay here with us I put the nut device on your headstone. You can touch it and it'll glow in different colors. 
if that's something you could do for me, I would appreciate it. It would show people that you're still here with us. I'll hold it. John Gibson and Hannah. Can you make contact with us? I have a microphone and I got a phone which I'm recording on. You might be able to speak to me through it. So, if there's anything you would like to say, you can say it. Just trying to see if anybody's touching because I can't tell because it's bright out. Let me move out of here. Let me try this Stewart family. <coughs> Stewart family, James and Marianne. Are you still here with us on earth? You could touch this device that I laid on top of your headstone if you're still here and the colors are green, yellow, orange, and red. If you could touch that, the lights will go off and me and everybody else around the world will be able to see that you're still here with us. Can you do that for me please? I mean you no disrespect, I mean you no harm. Is there anybody earthbound still here that are just stuck here and on earth? You can come over and touch this if you want. I mean, this will be a short video. I think I'm only going to go 20 minutes. I'm going to shut the K2 meter off. I'm not going to do a session. I'm just going to record for a little bit more, then I'm going to get out of here. I actually do feel bad not recording with Frank and Emily you know I mean we are a team but um Frank has found us a place to investigate um they just gotta get together and figure out a time for us which is pretty exciting um I will let Frank talk about that more whenever we get together and Hopefully do a live stream here soon. Again, I want to thank everybody that has supported our channels. Um, we, we, we can't do this without you. We do this for you and for ourselves, but mainly it's for everybody to, to see.
I like how the sun's just shining. The rays are coming down through the trees. I like it. It's pretty nice. And also, um, we do have hats for sale. We only have eight of them. Um, if anybody's interested, you can send Emily a direct message on Instagram. She runs our Instagram page. And um, we can set that up for you and get, get a hat shipped out for anybody that wants them. So... And you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Three Souls Paranormal. So, we're trying to grow, be one big happily family here, para unite, hashtag that. There's just been a lot of rift lately within the paranormal community, which ain't good for anybody You can see my shadow in the grass. <laughs> Look at the shadow person. We are really stoked. Salem's coming up fast. We have a lot of exciting things planned there. We're going to be doing, even on the way back home, we're going to be doing some things, which is really exciting. Like stopping off in Sleepy Hollow, New York. And it's actually a real place with the Headless Horseman. Me and Emily has been there before, so... Frank and Mary hasn't, so we're going to stop off there on our way back home just so they can experience it. Um, people were probably driving by like, look, who's this crazy guy filming inside of a cemetery? <laughs> oh well, such is life. I'll be heading back to the car. Everybody who watches this video, please share it out, like it, Subscribe to our channel, like I said, Three Souls Paranormal here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We're trying to grow with everybody and let's genuinely support each other. Have a good day.